Experience the perfect interplay of the Simatic S7-1200 with a new task-oriented engineering framework, modular controllers, and the integrated WinCC BASIC for the configuration of Simatic panels. This podcast provides an overview of the HMI wizard. Designing an overall plan of screens for monitoring and controlling your application is easy. When you add an HMI device to your project, there is a checkbox for starting the HMI wizard. If you deselect this checkbox, the engineering framework provides just a simple basic screen. Otherwise, you enter the HMI wizard. The HMI wizard guides you step by step in establishing PLC connections, creating a common layout style, configuring alarm displays, designing a screen hierarchy, including system screens, and selecting common buttons for your screens. In the PLC connections area, you can select the PLC to which your HMI device connects for displaying and changing PLC data. If you haven't added a PLC to your project yet, that's okay. You can establish this connection later without the use of the wizard. In the screen layout area, you select the basic elements that will appear on every screen. Here is where you can select the background color and an image with your company logo to display on your screens. You can select an image file in one of several popular image formats to display as the logo on all your screens. In the alarms area, you select whether the screens will show an indicator when unacknowledged alarms are present. You can also choose to have special screens to show unacknowledged alarms, active alarms and active system events. In the screens area, you design your screen hierarchy. What screens do you want to have that are immediately subordinate to the root screen? What other screens do you need? And at what level in the hierarchy do they belong? You use the plus symbol to add screens at any point in the hierarchy. You can also delete screens or rename screens from their default names. In the System Screens area, you have the opportunity to include or exclude various system-level screens for your application. In the Buttons area, you can select which standard buttons you want to appear on every screen and where you want them to appear. You can save the settings that you have made by selecting the Save Settings checkbox. If you add another HMI device, the wizard will load the settings that you saved. When you click the Finish button, note that you cannot re-enter the wizard for this device. Everything you configured is now accessible from the project tree. Here are the system screens and user screens that you selected. Here is your screen template with the company logo, buttons and color scheme that you selected. You can edit any screen or system screen directly from the project tree. The default names that the HMI wizard assigned for screens and templates are based on your project language setting. If you established a connection to a PLC in the wizard, you can see that connection from the project tree. You can see how the HMI device wizard helps you get started with your screen design and layout. Now you simply edit each screen to add your process data, controls and graphical design. Additional information is provided on our website.